Hi there, Terrence again from Neptune Systems. I know it's been a while since my last video because we've been busy making the new Apex, finishing it, putting the finishing touches on it, and getting it ready for you guys. Well, in this video, I'm going to try and answer many of the questions I've heard over the last week or so about the new Apex, the changes in our overall product line, backward compatibility, forward compatibility, future products, and other important insights. First off, let me go over the new Apex product line. What's staying, what's being retired, and what will work with what. So here are the Apex systems that are on sale in North America. First, we have the Apex Junior. The Apex Junior is perfect for the Aquarius that wants an economical aquarium controller for temperature protection and to have control over a few components such as their heater, their lights, and their pump. It'll manage the lighting schedule, provide advanced control of even the most economical heaters, and it'll alert you if the temperature in your aquarium goes out of range. It'll also do things like turn on a fan or turn off the lights if your tank gets too hot. Improper aquarium temperature, especially overheating, is the number one cause of catastrophic aquarium failure. For this reason alone, I feel every aquarium shouldn't go without having at least the entry level monitoring control provided by the Apex Junior. Also, one of the great parts of the Apex Junior is that spending less money doesn't mean that you have a less capable interface. Its built-in network port connects into the internet, and with the free Apex Fusion cloud interface, you get the peace of mind of checking, on, checking in on your aquarium from anywhere in the world. But it doesn't stop there. The Junior can grow with you in the hobby. Since it uses the same Aquabus interface as the rest of the Apex systems, you can expand its capabilities and add things like the AFS auto feeder, leak detection module, or even something more advanced like the dose dosing system. The Apex Junior sells for just $240 and it includes four controllable outlets, the display module, and a temperature probe. Next up in the line is the Apex Classic. That's right, it's not going anywhere. The Apex Classic is the monitoring control system of choice for tens of thousands of aquariums around the world. I won't get into all of the details of what the Apex can do for you because that's, that's covered in tons of videos out there already that do it really well. Of course, just like the Junior, it connects to the internet and the free Apex Cloud interface, making your aquarium easily accessible from anywhere in the world. We used to sell this Apex in two versions one with a standard grade pH probe, and another with a lab grade version. To simplify the buying decision for our customers, we now only be offering the lab grade version, and the price hasn't changed. It's still just $550, and it includes the Energy Bar 8, with eight controllable outlets, a display, a temperature probe, a pH probe, all the calibration solutions to get you going. Again, we're not discontinuing this product. Another important clarification should be made here as well. Since the launch of the new Apex, there have been many concerns that will now stop providing new products that work with the Apex Junior or the Apex Classic. Let me be very clear, that's not happening. We'll continue to innovate and to make modules and accessories that use the Aquabus interconnect standard that's found on the Junior and the Classic and even the new Apex. This includes previously announced FMM fluid monitoring module and the core return pump. However, this doesn't mean that there might not be something down the road where the Apex Junior or the Apex Classic doesn't have the technology, the electronic horsepower, so to speak, to support it. Honestly, though, we can't see that happening, and there's nothing else in the works that is going to fit that bill. The only Aquabus accessory right now that does not work with the Apex Classic is the Energy Bar 832. We couldn't make the Apex Classic forward compatible with it simply because it requires more computational and storage capacity. Again, the Apex Classic is not being discontinued. It's not going anywhere, and we're not leaving behind any of our existing customers. Another product also that used to be in the lineup was the Apex Gold. It was an Apex Classic with the addition of the components necessary to monitor salinity and ORP. But with the new Apex launched, it's pretty much redundant, and so we eliminated it from the lineup. So now let's move on to the new Apex. This Apex has more computational horsepower than ever before through its system-on-a-chip design. It delivers five times the overall performance as well as 2,000 times the onboard data storage. These improvements give it capabilities for data logging, web pages, network data transfer, and much more. It has built-in monitoring of temperature, pH, salinity, and ORP. And the last thing, the salinity required an additional module before. 
It comes with all the necessary probes, and the PH and ORP probes are now both double junction for extra life. It also has a built-in Wi-Fi connection as well as a wired Ethernet connection. All of this in one compact little device with a clever flip-up design that helps you manage the cables and keeps water out of them. One of the things with the new Apex is that we made it backward compatible. So that means that if you have an Apex Classic or an Apex Junior, you can move all of your accessories and modules over to the new Apex and they'll work just fine. The energy bars, your AFS, leak detection modules, and on and on. Also, all the configuration code you have to make them run can be copied over and used as well. Likely with a few name changes for outlets, etc. But still, it's going to be very easy to do. The new Apex comes with a brand new Energy Bar 832. This was a big step forward to us and offers some amazing features like built-in one link and power monitoring. Let me show that to you. So here I have our Wave power head, and many of you have these already. They work great with the one link module hooked up to the Apex Classic. We gave you a way to hook up three of these pumps to your tank with just one power supply with that one link module. But now the Energy Bar 832, you don't need the one link module, you don't need the power supply, it just plugs right in. Better yet, these individual pumps are an incredible value at $200 each. But these one link ports are not just for the Wave, they're for other devices as well, like our DOS system. You can get rid of both the Aquabus cable as well as the power supply for the DOS and connect it to these ports with just one cable. You get rid of all that clutter under your tank. The one link system is a cleaner solution than any wireless system for aquarium devices because every device, even a wireless device, will still need to get power somehow. And that almost always means a power brick and it usually means a control module. One link is simply one skinny wire. And in the future we're going to have other one link devices that will be released and clean up under your aquarium even more. What about those other two connections we call the DC24 ports? Well, they're switched ports of 24 volts DC power, and we have accessories coming out for these as well. One of them is a new multi-purpose utility pump that you can use for your ATO, or your reactors, or who knows. I'm sure there's going to be lots of applications that we haven't even thought of yet. Just plug it in, and it can be controlled like any other outlet. And there's another accessory soon to be released as well. It's a DC powered solenoid valve that you can use with your RODI to prevent things like TDS creep or for a backup safety for your ATO. Or again, who knows what these control freaks out there are going to come up with. So that's the first advancement for the, the Apex and the 832. What about the second one? Well, the Energy Bar 832 has power monitoring. And this is one of those things that you develop and release and you have an idea how it could be used, but you, you know that there's tons of applications that you never even thought of. So here's how it works and some of the ways we did envision people using it. The first use is for failure monitoring. In our labs, we're able to basically profile or baseline a device on our aquarium and how it runs over a day or a week. And then we see how its power consumption looks. After that, you set thresholds on the power monitoring to alert us if the device is, say, using 20% more or 10% less than the baseline. A return pump, for example, wouldn't it be nice to know if it stopped working altogether, or if it got dirty, or if a snail got in there? Or what about a skimmer when the venturi starts to clog, or the tube falls off? It'll change how it uses power, and you can get an alarm. Of course, you can also use the data to trigger other actions in the aquarium. Maybe if that, if that skimmer failed, you might want to turn on an emergency air stone in your aquarium to continue to help with the oxygenation of the water since the skimmer isn't on. Now I know it stings a bit for the Apex Classic users out there to hear that their Apex is not forward compatible to this new Energy Bar 832. If we could have made it work, we would have. And I know that's not a huge consolation for many of you, but if you eventually do want to move over to the new Apex, it's fully backward compatible, so all your existing gear can be used with it. So now here are a few other great things that are coming with the release of the new Apex and a big update to Apex Fusion. And guess what? All of you Apex Junior and Apex Classic users are going to get these features as well. First off, reminders. Now you'll have a way to put in single or recurring events into your Apex Fusion. And this is perfect to help remind you of tasks to do such as parameters testing, water changes, filter socks, and so on. Also, when you get a new piece of gear, a new piece of Neptune gear like the PM2 uh, for monitoring salinity, it's going to automatically create a reminder so you can do the setup the calibration, etc., and take you right to the proper screen to do it. 
Heartbeat. This new feature will send you an iOS or a text alert whenever Apex Fusion loses touch with your Apex. This could be due to a power outage, your internet going down, or even a hardware failure of the Apex itself. This is something people have been looking for for a long time. And on the surface, it looks kind of straightforward, but we wanted to do it right and to prevent things like false alarms. Since something like this, you never want to train yourself to ignore. Next is a brand new iOS app. And while we truly believe in the web app approach, there were things we couldn't do with a web app alone. One of those things was iOS alerts. So we have completely redesigned the Apex app to bring together the best of both worlds. With this new app, you get the ability to access your Apex with the familiarity of Apex Fusion, uh, but you also can access it locally as well. And now, one last thing for international customers. We'll be updating our Apex as well for you guys. In just a couple of months, we'll begin shipping the new Apex base unit combined with the Energy Bar 6 for your region and the same four probes that you get with the new Apex. Ask your local fish store or online store all about it. If you want more information on any of this, we have an FAQ linked at the bottom in the comments, as well as a link to the product page uh, for the Apex. Feel free to ask away any question you may have in the comments. Also check out our community, there's a lot of great threads out there. In our next video, we're going to show everybody what an awesome touch screen interface the Amazon Fire Tablet is, and how you can get it for just $50. I'll show you how to set the whole thing up. Until next time, this is Terrence from Neptune Systems. Take care.